when YouTube said they were going to add the ability to add your RSS feed to YouTube, you, me, a lot of people should have been extremely excited. Why? Because YouTube is a huge place for podcast discoverability right now, but that didn't come with some drawbacks. So look, if you have an audio only podcast and you want to see how to get your audio only podcast onto YouTube, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And I'm also going to show you what the drawbacks may be. So let's just get right into exactly how to do it. And I'll have to share my screen for this. Okay. Now the very first step you want to do with this is you need to go to your podcast host before we do anything else. And we are going to copy our RSS feed, which is right here. This podcast is my old podcast, which I stopped back in November, 2021. I did a quick test with music right here, uh, but I'm copying the RSS feed. That part is done. Next step, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and I will actually go to YouTube studio. So I go to YouTube. I'm going to click in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to go to YouTube studio right here. The next step you are going to go to create. I'm going to go to create. And if I do not have anything up already as a podcast, I'm going to go to new podcast. Now I could create new podcast if I don't have one and I want to start adding videos for a podcast I've made, set an existing playlist as a podcast. If you have existing videos that are podcast videos, you could set an existing playlist to be that. Or you go to submit an RSS feed. I'm going to do submit RSS feed. And the reason is the leadership locker, which I previously discussed, does not have any video associated with it back in 2021. Some of it did, some of it didn't, but there was a lot of audio only episodes. So that's what we're going with. So now we're going to go to submit RSS feed. All I'm going to do is next. I'm going to enter the RSS feed and I'm probably going to run into a problem because I just realized I forgot one detail and we'll see if it works. Okay. Missing owner email. Now the part I forgot, let's backtrack just a little bit. I'm going back to my podcast platform. I'm going to go to my podcast settings. And there's a part here where it says email is currently hidden. You may have had this selected by default on your podcast settings. I'm just going to unhide it for 24 hours. And I need to make sure I go down and obviously update the show settings. Okay, it says you've successfully updated the show. I'm going back up here. It says it is unlocked for a 24 hour period. I'm going to use the email associated with this podcast next. So now that it's unhidden, I should be able to go ahead and enter it. So it wants me to verify ownership with the email associated with this email address, which means I will have to go to my email. Before you go to your email, don't forget here to click send code. Okay, I'm gonna click send code. I have a code here. I'm gonna go ahead and obviously copy it and I'm going to paste it. Now I wanna upload all episodes in the RSS feed, episodes published since March 1st, or do not upload any old episodes. The choice is yours, but let's just say I wanted to get all my stuff onto YouTube. This is what I would select, upload all episodes. I'm gonna to go to next. Now here's the important part. Your podcast is not actually gonna be published. It means the podcast playlist and the episodes in, from the RSS are going to be private, okay? You would literally have to make them public in order for them to be visible. After you publish a new episode from your RSS feed, it will become public, that episode and the future episodes. But everything retroactive, you'll have to do yourself. Now it says you've created a podcast from your RSS feed. Let's go ahead and just view it. Okay, now I had 200 episodes and it's going to start processing. And this may take half a day, it may take a day. And that's it. Now, here is where I'm going to stop showing you everything. And now if you did not have this under your channel content under YouTube Studio, you will now have a podcast section. When it was not part of your RSS feed, you can make a podcast playlist with your video podcast. But anything that was audio only was just living on your podcast platforms. What you're trying to do here with YouTube, not YouTube music, which is very, very simple as well. What you wanted to do was just get all this content onto YouTube. Now, here's what's going to happen that you need to know. It's going to start uploading all these videos and they will be private until it publishes a new episode from when you did this. If I publish an episode tomorrow via my RSS feed and my podcast platform, this will update in YouTube as well. And a new episode will be published. My subscribers will be notified, etc. Now, 
the whole time we've been talking about audio only podcasts. Now, this is what's going to happen, which is what we did not necessarily realize. YouTube is going to create a video of your audio only podcast and all the video is, is going to be a thumbnail of your cover art. There's nothing else because it's not necessarily an MP4 that you made. They're turning it into an MP4. What does this mean? If you have been working on your YouTube channel, if you have been like tirelessly working on your thumbnails and the content and you have a following now, there is nothing from anyone I've talked to in the YouTube world that I trust implicitly that shows that those videos of your audio only podcast are not going to adversely affect your other videos or your channel. Meaning your average viewer duration could plummet. And all, all of a sudden you could have all these uploads that are worthless because a lot of people are not going to YouTube to watch an audio only podcast. YouTube discoverability for podcasts is high because of video podcasts and people feel more connected to the host. People are retaining more. I mean, these numbers are very clear in the high 60s and even in 70s. People liking to see their hosts and their mannerisms, their expressions, like all those good things. So all that being said, all of a sudden, if you have 200 or 1,000 episodes on your YouTube channel as videos, not just on the podcast page, that could totally crush your YouTube channel. And that's why I wanted to go on here and tell you. Now, the only thing, and I've talked to a couple friends of mine about this, is this may be the only time where we would suggest making a separate YouTube channel if you wanted it for your audio-only podcast, knowing that it's going to be just those thumbnail videos. What we would recommend, and we'll do that in a separate video, is going onto YouTube Music and just making sure that your podcast is available on YouTube Music. Now, if you have video podcasts, I would recommend not to connect your RSS feed to your YouTube studio. If you have a video podcast, I would just put, upload the videos as you have been, and it might seem like an extra step to manually have to do that, but there's only one or two platforms out there, and it's still not completely trustworthy that you can upload your video file for distribution as well. And the only places it could distribute that video file is Spotify for sure, YouTube, of course, and then, you know, Apple Video Podcasts. We've done a lot of homework on that, and I should probably bring on our senior podcast managers, Andrea, to maybe discuss that for us. But this is what I wanted you to know. I thought it was a great move on YouTube's part for podcasters who want to have their podcast on YouTube. And at the same time, it could just do nothing for you. I mean, I can't even imagine what the click-through rate would be if someone sees a playlist of your podcast and everything looks exactly the same. YouTube has been wanting you to do what they say in terms of thumbnails, in terms of titles, in terms of keeping interest, in terms of chapters, in terms of short descriptions and all that, only to allow you to upload things that they would default to the most unesthetic, boring way to consume content. People are going to YouTube to watch videos, not to watch a thumbnail and listen. So that being said, your best bet is to keep your audio only podcast in the platforms it's supposed to be. I would add it to YouTube music. We can add that as a video for you in the future, but just so you know, that's what you would do. Now to go ahead and undo uploading your RSS feed or using your RSS feed as a YouTube video, let's go ahead and check that out. So we will start being here in YouTube studio. I'll go to content on the left right here. I will go to podcasts. So see this, this means it's connected to the RSS feed, this symbol. So I will go ahead and click on it and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna disconnect my RSS feed. Yes, I wanna disconnect. Okay, RSS feed is disconnected. Let's go back to channel content and see what we got going on. So it's done. Do I want to delete this? I'm just going to delete it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have 88 videos just sitting in my library for no reason. And there I've deleted it. So no harm, no foul. Uh, hopefully you can see that my experiment either led you to where you wanted to go or saved you from something that you didn't want to do. And we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in a week.